Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the West Bromwich Albion career mode. Um, what, what, I hope you had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'm probably going to upload this tomorrow. Today, I'm recording this on the 28th. I don't even know how many days there are in December, so soon it will be New Year's. Happy New Year's anyway. So we're going to try and get back into the flow of daily uploads for this series at least we've obviously started the new career mode the napoli career mode if you haven't seen episode one of that check that one out and it's going to be interesting doing that alongside this one and obviously we're not going to do the napoli one every day we're going to do it every other day almost sometimes it will be daily sometimes it will stop if it stops don't worry about that that's just how it is but when this career mode does finally end which will probably be around season five six i might even move to another team at some point in this series so it might end who knows when but when this one does end the napoli career mode will then become the main series and it will take over obviously and it will start becoming daily uploads and all that kind of stuff so look out for that also um the napoli career mode i've obviously mentioned um manual assist and all that kind of stuff if we do finally put that series on manual assist we most likely will end up putting this one on manual assist as well so i don't have to worry about changing back and forward and then it being too difficult when i switch all that kind of stuff and we'll probably end up doing this hopefully when this one gets a little bit too easy we don't want to be winning the league blitzing it every single year so that, you know what that's how we do it that's how you keep it a little fresh but coming into this um this episode We've got a match against West Ham. I recorded this one a while ago, so I've got I've got a little bit of a backlog of episodes. So kind of, we're, we're almost going to be um, reliving this together. I don't even remember what happened, but you can see right here we're two 0 down against West Ham United, and a Valencia scoring both goals. But yeah, like I'm saying, because I recorded this like probably a little bit over a week ago, I recorded this. I haven't. I can't even remember what's happening. I can't even remember what games are in this episode. I can't remember who we're playing. All I know is we are 2-0 down against West Ham. Less than 30 minutes into this game. They play in Sofian Figuli. He turns and his shot is just wide at that near post right there. He can't beat Jack Rose. But 32 minutes in, it seems to be all West Ham. We've only had the one opportunity really that came to Michael Bradley. And his shot was blocked. And then just ended up in the goalkeeper's hands. But we do have... I think the last episode we had was against Arsenal in the EFL Cup. I can't really remember. I'm not 100% sure. But I feel like that was the last episode. And we did come out victorious in that one. So we're coming off the back of a good game. A good positive result. And now we're, we're, we're not looking too great. But into the second half now. We're trying to create something. Victor Moses' shot bends. Hits that far post right there. Comes back out to Ika Munayin. Who was in a brilliant just spot. But... Either side of the goalkeeper, and that's probably ending up in the back of the net, but he ends up shooting straight towards Adrian in the West Ham goal, and he parries it wide of the post right there. We should have done a little bit better with that one, but Ikamanayin is coming up to take the resulting corner kick just a few minutes after first after the, 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 the second half starts, and the ball is whipped in onto the head of Timo Lachey, who's playing at centre-back alongside Tashi. So it's not the strongest lineup that we could have possibly fielded, but I still feel like it should be good enough. Lanzini getting a brilliant opportunity right there, but denied. By a really good save from Jack Rose right there. It's that's I mean, I mean, where's the marking? Lanzini's made a little bit of a darting run towards the corner. No one's picked him up, and he's just it's all West Ham really at this point right now. It's a cross in. We're trying to get out. Bradley kicks it straight towards Havard Norvite. It somehow falls to Lanzini. We've got a man down in the box, and Manuel Lanzini he makes it 3-0. And at this point, 68 minutes on the clock. I was willing to concede defeat. And this this was one of the worst games that I'd played on fifa in a while like it and that right there i mean how has lanzini reacted so much quicker than tashi to get to that ball right there i don't know he's caused up on the floor in the box and i'm pretty sure that's happened to me already in this series having a player down in the box and it's resulted in the opposition scoring it's just it's some bullshit but you see manuel lanzini getting man of the match after scoring and getting two assists i think that just said as well but we're into the next game against everton i'm starting to remember this now we had everton in this one and then Wolves in the third game of the episode in the FA Cup. I'm starting, I'm starting to remember. But you see, again, we had to switch up the lineups just a little bit. Zelalem is in the starting lineup. Nino Jankovic again in there as well. So we're mixing up a little bit. The fixtures coming thick and fast. Everton's lineup could be a little bit better. I mean, every time you see Aaron Lennon in the lineup, you're thinking, really? Like they got Bolassi, they got they got a few other players that could be playing. Johnny Evans is on the bench after securing his move to Everton in this last January transfer window. But Everton getting off to a good start again as Tarashai is played in behind. And it's another spectacular save from the young man, Jack Rose. He puts up a thumbs up. I wouldn't be putting up no thumbs up. Terrible defending. A splitting pass played into Tarashai. 
And a young Everton mid... Well, he can't be that young in this series no more. What, what, he must be 25, 26 maybe in this series. But it's a beautiful ball played over the top tier to Jonathan Lecco. 90 minutes on, yet to have a shot on goal. I just wanted to have a crack right there. And it's a really decent save from the Everton goalkeeper. It's a decent effort from Jonathan Lecco as well. But 40 minutes on the clock now. Nasa Chadley slides it into Jonathan Lecco from a similar angle. He's going to try and put it across the goal. And his shot is just wide of that far post. Maybe I, I mean, I don't know. It's hit and miss with Jonathan Lecco. We've trained his finishing a lot. And you can kind of see, I want to say you can see an improvement, but at the same time, he didn't put it away. So I don't know, because, I mean, he, he, it was close, and it's from a tight angle, so it's not it's not a bad finish whatsoever. But, I mean, I still want to see a little bit better. Tarajai nicks the ball off of Ika Munayena. Probably, I don't know what I was doing. I should have just got rid of it, played it to someone, cleared it maybe. But Tarajai nicked it off of Munayena and forced a good save at Jack Rose. This time, Everton whipping it into the box from the resulting corner. And... Bold head referee points to the spot. I mean, another handball, as you can see right here. Yeah, we do show the replay in the end. Whipped into the box, and I don't even see the ball hit anyone's hand. I, I just don't. I just don't see any. I don't. I didn't see the ball hit anyone's hand. But Everton step up right here. Luciano Vieto, I believe this is, stepping up to take the penalty. One-on-one -on -one with Jack Rose. Will he go the right way? Yes, he does. The young English keeper, again, with another save. This kid... I'm pretty sure at this point he's going to be my keeper for the rest of the series. Especially if we keep training him. He's at a, like a 78 overall, something like that now at 23 years old. These are just guesses, but I'm pretty sure they're quite accurate. So, I mean, with stats like that at that age, if we keep training him, especially he could be pretty decent. 50 minutes on the clock, we have possibly our best chance of the game right there. As Sturridge is shot, is saved by the keeper. It falls to Nasser Chadley, who just couldn't wrap his foot around it enough to get it back in the other side of the post. And it's just gone wide at that far post again. But we're starting to create a lot more chances now. Just six minutes later, Chadley finds Ikemunay in down the right-hand side. He gets onto his right foot. Foot, tries to go across the keeper and it's a really good save by the Everton goalkeeper with his foot but that was all she wrote for this game we couldn't get a goal and that was our final Premier League game of the episode so we couldn't get a win in the Premier League we couldn't get a goal in the Premier League in this episode so it's not the best it's, it's just not it's not good especially when we need to be pushing for the title we need to be keeping up with Arsenal at this point and to be honest it's not even like the, the, the race for top four is by no means finished. You'll see the table at the end of this episode. It is quite close. We could still end up with no Champions League football. We could probably end up with no Europa League football at the end of this season either. So we need to keep make sure we're, we're really getting it done. I mean, recently, goals have dried up a little bit from Sturridge and Chadley, who are our main the main reason we were in the position we were in early on in the season. Goals have dried up a little bit from them, which means that we're not getting as many wins. We're not. It, it, we, we just need to pick it up. Long story short, we need to pick it up. But we're into the FA Cup again here and we're playing against our rivals Wolverhampton Wanderers. We need to smash them. Again, a few players who don't usually get a start starting here. Solomon Rondon, one of them. His shot saved by Brad Guzan quite well. We got Nino Jankovic, Zumana Goa on the ball here. Plays it into Zelalem. He slides a beautiful ball down the middle into Jonathan Lecco. And he's trying to go across the keeper. But again, Brad Guzan making a really good save to deny the young English slash Congolese. Is he Congolese? Is it? Is it? Is he I don't know. I keep forgetting, but he's he's English slash some sort of African country. Denied by Brad Guzan right there. He's on the ball again. Beautiful, just reverse pass into Solomon Rondon, and we did open the scoring and get our first goal of the episode in the final game of the episode, and it's beautifully worked. I think it was Jankovic who played it into Leko. A nice turn and then a little reverse pass into Solomon Rondon. Returned obviously in January. From Tottenham Hotspur, who we sold him to in the mid-first season. And then we bought him back for half the price this time. Look at this beautiful pass from Leko. Beautiful, good turn. And from that angle, showing Leko how it's done. Shooting across the goal, right into that bottom corner. Brad Guzan making some really good saves early on in this game. But he can't deny us that one. That's a really good finish from Solomon Rondon. And he gets his fourth goal in the FA Cup. Obviously, he scored a few goals for Tottenham. He scored a few, but we had to bring him back, man. Because I didn't even really want to sell Leko. I'm not Leko. I didn't really want to sell Rondon in that first season, but we had the objective to make a certain amount of money. I felt like I was under pressure to do that. And we got a really big offer for Rondon, so I accepted it. And I, again, like I said, I didn't really want to. At that point, I chose between Rondon and Berahino. We chose to sell Rondon. Maybe we should have sold Berahino. We would have got more money than we did eventually in the end for Berahino, but... I, I mean, that's, that's how things work out. But 66 minutes on the clock. Now, Zumana Gua plays it into Rondon. I don't know why he slid. He slid for that one. It was He had so much time. And he's just dragged that one wide. But still, 78 minutes on the clock this time. Now, still trying to look for that second goal to kill the game off. It's played into Jan Gorkov. And look at that. Look at that one. Jan Gorkov 
has found his opportunities to get on the pitch slim this season not playing nearly as much you'll see is I don't know if we have a squad report in this one but in the, the most recent squad report check his stats the way they're dropping off his agility especially is down by like 15 this season he t turns like a pint of milk I don't know I've seen a fridge turn quicker than him I've seen walkers turn quicker than him in the walking dead I don't know but beautiful finish nonetheless his technique doesn't seem to be affected whatsoever his finishing every time he gets a chance he buries it and that's a beautiful one just dinking it over the keeper so we do end the episode with a victory over our rivals in the FA Cup we advance one more time into the quarterfinals I think the next round is so Jonathan Lecco gets man of the match in that one we're back to some training continuing to grow Maxwell Van der Meer the man who I don't even think played in this episode which is weird I don't remember seeing him I don't, I don't know you guys could tell me you was looking at the lineups but you can see right here at the end of the episode we are third place look at how tight it is 50 48 47 47 45 44 it's it's crazy and then you i guess you want to include the 43 and the 43 for the europa league spots it is tight so we're on 47 just three points behind leicester city now who are occupying the top space arsenal ain't even top no more it's tight but like i said we're gonna try and get back into daily uploads i should have an episode up for you tomorrow that shouldn't be a problem and look out for the napoli career mode as well i hope you guys enjoyed your christmas break and all of that peace